Welcome back to Drumfield FC. Today I'm joined by a special guest, Tom Khan, on the comms. Best line in the league. Take it away, Tom. Okay, and welcome to the Drumfield FC picture today, away at Tupton. The Tupton lineup is didn't ask. The Drumfield lineup in goal. Ash. Good header from Marzi here. All right, all right, that's enough. Anyways, Tom was saying, lineup is Ash in goal, Brad Connor. James, Mo, Jack, Lewis, Wanga, Tom, Callum and Dean, the starting eleven, and the bench made up of Joe, Harry, Henry and Ethan. <laughs> John Phil with their first attack of the games, the ball switched to the left side with Lewis, looks to take on his man, cuts inside, gets his shot off, but it's well blocked by the defender. Tucks and looks to count as the ball comes over the top, I should have made our defence, lands it there man. One on one with the keeper and he managed to finish to make it 1-0 to Tupton in the early stages. John Field come forward now, looking for a quick response to the early setback. Some nice interplay involving Dean as he knocks it forward and is then brought down inside the box and the ref points to the spot. Usual penalty taker, word he isn't here today. So Miller steps up to take this one. He rattles it off the top of the crossbar and he comes back out into play. It remains 1 0 to Tupson. Ball's whipped in from a free kick by Tupton. Bit of a scramble on the goal line. They reckon it's in. Ref's not giving it, but some early pressure for Drumfield to deal with. How can you tell from there? Corner to Tupton, it's whipped into the centre of the box. The yellow head meets it and makes it 2 0 to Tupton. Pass from there, number seven, plays in Lewis down the left hand side, knocks it round his man. He's then brought down in the box. The referee points for a penalty and he gives Dronfield a chance to redeem themselves from the spot. This time, Carl steps up, short run up. He plays it nice into the bottom corner, making it 2 1 and game on again. John Field with the momentum now as Lewis is a brilliant touch, take it away from his man on the left wing. Looks up, squares it across the box, he's a bit behind Dean, but he sets himself really nicely and smashes it into the back of the net to make it 2 all. Dino. Yeah. Ball comes into the danger zone from top soon in there. First to react. As their striker beats Ash to the ball, sapping into the back of the net to make it free to the top soon.
that, 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 that bounce was <laughs> definitely helpful. Yeah. Second half action now as Jobville will get us underway with a corner. Mel places the ball down, whips it in, straight in the danger zone, met by Jobville head, and it's narrowly wide. Ball's played over the top with Lewis giving chase. Manages to keep it away from his man, get it uncontrolled for poking it through to Joe. His first time effort hits the post and then finds its way into the back of the net to make it 3-0. John Field looking for the winner now in the closing stages of the game. One gets the ball on the edge of the box. Unfortunately, hey, she's well over. Man, man. Great challenge by Molly. It drops to Kelly. Dinks it over the top. Joe giving chase. Takes a touch. Gets a shot off. It's well saved by the keeper. Drops to Lewis. Takes it out one man. Takes it on the keeper. And he finds a back of the net to make it 4 3. The last seconds of the game to John Field. The old bench, the old touch line. Run down to Lewis to celebrate with a massive pile on. After he scored what's got to be the winner. Absolutely fantastic scenes from the boys. You see how much it means to them. They'll be had three times this game. Never let their heads drop. Kept fighting you back. Equalising. And they're finally going to go themselves the winner in the last few seconds. Come on. Wow. Come on! Come on! Absolute quality there from Lewis. Real composure in the last few seconds of the game. You see the old touchline bouncing around. He's waiting for the net to bulge. And he has the composure to calm himself, find the back of the net and win the game for John Field. All John Field got to do now is hold on for the final few seconds. He's waiting for that whistle to blow. Trying to keep it in the corner. And there it is, full time whistle, 4 3 to John Field. In a close game. Some great battle in there from the boys. Fighting right till the end. Making it two wins in our last two games. Join us next week to see if we make it three on the bounce.